Now we're going to take a look at some other functions of the Iliad. Uh, this is all on firmware version 2.8. Um, let's say first, uh, we're at a book screen. This has a directory listing of some books that I have on uh, the internal memory. You see, uh, most of these are just named with the file name, uh, and that's what it is by default. Uh, the top one here was one that I have tagged myself. Uh, tagging is a fairly easy process. All you need to do is the tag button down here, and then click the document that you'd like to uh, rename. And here it will open up the tag screen. In there, just select in there, and backspace a couple of characters. And you can type the author in here. I like the title up top, the author down at the bottom. Uh, just use the keyboard if you wish. Or they do have a write pad. I have a couple of useful signal symbols on the side here. Uh, e, period, slash, colon, uh, whatnot. It has a pretty good handwriting recognition. Uh, it would be a little bit better if I was using one hand to hold the Iliad, but that is as such. And you just hit the tag button again to save that tag you created. And I actually hit the keyboard button, which removed the keyboard from the screen. Uh, as of now, there is no uh, calibration for the stylus. Uh, they are planning that for a future version. Though. I just tapped the document that I wish to open. Uh, keep in mind, this is the first time that I opened the document. Uh, this is a book that I downloaded from manybooks.net. They have a lot of free uh, books on there, all formatted for the Iliad. Swore the Worlds. Uh, simply arrow over, and it will go through all of the pages. Uh, it's fairly quick, uh, not even really noticeable or annoying as it was uh, with the earlier versions. The text is nice and clear. And uh, simply just go back and forward uh, quite easily. It also has uh, annotate functions so that you can write directly on the PDFs. They'll be saved as an external file. Um, a couple people have made some third party tools for merging them. Uh, IREX has some planned themselves. You can erase whatever you just created just by tapping the line. Uh, if you have a couple lines, you just drag the stylus across the screen. You can lock the Iliad at any time by hitting the pin code function. And that will bring up the enter your pin code screen. Let me enter my password here. Put all four characters and submit and it unlocks and goes back to your book screen. Uh, these are most of the new features of firmware 2.8. Uh, it does have some other functions. Here I'm reopening that PDF. It'll take much less time uh, once it opens for the second time. You can turn the screen. Uh, also, it offers a zoom function. So for those who have really bad problems seeing, make it quite large. And also there is a continuous mode, which once you tap, well, that was not continuous, that was fit to screen. This is continuous mode, where it will keep going and keep all the pages attached and allow you to just page through them. That uh, works especially well when you're zoomed in and you can it'll show you the page break right there 
and you will be able to just read your book. Uh, there's quite a bit more page flipping involved when you're zoomed in this bar, but for those who have problems seeing, uh, it works out quite well. And that is all for the uh, functions of PDF.